Welcome, 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 everybody. This is D. Durrell with D. Durrell Life Solutions. Hope everybody is having a great day today. Today, I'm going to talk about do Black people understand the value of marriage? Let me repeat that. Do we truly understand the value of marriage? Do we understand the benefits? Do we understand the function of marriage? Do we understand the roles that one should take or one should develop and utilize in marriage? As I embarked upon what is called Black YouTube, I've been in this YouTube space since 2016, or actually 2014, partially, 15, partially, but I've been listening consistently, religiously, for six years. Black YouTube represents a subculture of our population who has a certain set of ideas, opinions, value systems that they may not necessarily discuss with those in that normal environment, but they were able to develop a following or communities of like-minded people, whether you are wrong or right, in these YouTube streets is irrelevant. It's all about being liked and the following. And even when you're wrong, if you're in an environment where everybody believes in what you say, you give the appearance of being somewhat intellectual for many, which is an overused term. And also you give this, percep this perception of being correct when you're not. I have, in many instances, as a person who is married, as a person who has a successful relationship, been with my wife for over, for, married for over 17 years, we've been, we've been dating, to just our relationship of dating, um, dating seriously, engaged, married. I've been with my wife since 1994. 1994, 28 years almost. And the fact of the matter is that we were real young. We were young. And I think not only from a track record of my, me personally, but also the track record for me professionally because I'm trained to do this. I am trained to do this and people refuse to listen to a person who is trained to help heal, foster development and grow in relationships. Whether it's in the dating phase, premarital phase, marriage, and also making a decision whether to divorce or stay married because in some situations in a relationship stand together is not always the best solution particularly if two people can't come to agreement or change maladaptive behaviors that leads to dysfunction what we find on youtube in these youtube streets is that there are tons of people who love to talk about marriage, who love to talk about relationships, who enjoy giving bad information, bad advice, and they have never been married. They don't have the scholastic training. To articulate the issues of marriage, failure or success. 
nor experience. They don't work in environments that involve married people, nor in their personal life have they garnered a successful long-term relationship. And for many of them, they've never even gotten past the dating, initial dating phase. So why is it in this space there are thousands and thousands of people who don't understand the benefits of marriage? But other groups of people understand. Other people, other groups of people honor it. It's a goal. And for many, it is just a, <clears throat> a manifestation. It's basically a manifestation of adulthood, fatherhood, a husband, wife. Why are we not talking about the benefits and values of marriage, putting your children in the best environment to succeed and thrive? Why are we not talking about the values of a father in the home? And God knows the black community is missing that tenfold. But people want to talk about being independent. What has your independence gotten you? Not only from a woman's perspective, from a man's perspective. You want to be independent, yet you have three children that you can barely take care of. And for men, you want to be independent because you're afraid of growing up. You're afraid of the responsibility. You're afraid of failure. You're afraid that you won't be a good husband. You're afraid that you may not be a great father. The anxiety levels of failure to success. Every, each gender, man or woman, has its set of insecurities about marriage. I'm hearing people talk about young people these days they ain't talking about getting married. These millennials ain't trying to get married. You know what? Every generation of young people didn't want to get married. When was there ever a large group of young people who focused on getting married? It never existed. There are plenty of people who claim, just as myself when I was younger, I would never get married. And by the time they were 25, they were married and happy. These are young children. These are kids. They don't understand the value of relationships and love, sacrifice. The problem is you have people who 30, 40, and 50 claiming that they don't want to get married when actually they lacked the success of being in a relationship that can develop into marriage. That's what's missing. That's what's not talked about. People are taking YouTube pills because of their inability to connect with another human being. And they have been denying the fact of the truth, which shows that they're the reason in most of those situations or had a part in the reason why those relationships didn't work. But because they don't want to acknowledge that, they feel like the best way they can do to relieve themselves of the responsibility is to blame the opposite sex. The black community has fostered environments where it's okay for guys to throw their seeds around. It's okay for women to have babies out of wetlock. The degradation of the black man in the home in which people think that he's not needed, but yet you have a son growing up in that environment where he feels like a per person of the same sex with him is not valued and not needed. So what the hell is he supposed to do when he grows up? Use your blueprint of devaluing men. And now he seen, he it pretends or he he basically conceptualizes that he is no value to the woman he 
got pregnant. He, you know, he pregnant impregnated, nor the children that he should be taking care of. And then we're telling women, despite the mistakes and the, the poor choices of your dating and relationship choices, if, if a child comes out of it, so what? You can do it all by yourself. I can be the man and I can be the woman. What is the outcome of that? People on both sides with this type of mindset, what has the outcome produced? It has produced a, a ethnic group of people in this country who don't have power. We're slowly, slowly becoming more and more disorganized and more and more dysfunctional. And our children, each generation is getting worse, worse, and worse. And we're slowly creating an environment in which we will no longer exist. But we will, in that time of no longer existing, we're constantly gravitating and glorifying the very behaviors that put us in this position in the first place. This is the black community. This is the reason that black community does not value the most fundamental aspects of any community. That is a family. We're trying to become anti-family in these spaces, yet we're losing at every statistic that matters. And all the races of people who are some who are thriving better than us, they have that. And see, people think because I'm a therapist that I give advice. No, I don't. I foster change. I provide therapy. Therapy is not advice. Although there are certain aspects in which some advice can be given at a minimal level. Therapy is about the process of, of interaction, building rapport, effective questioning, relationship building, the bindness between the therapist and the client on whatever issue as it relates to relationships to identify, to assess to process those dynamics and create solutions, which I'm not creating those solutions. I'm fostering an environment in which you, you are able to and are assisted in reaching those solutions. Giving you advice provides no help to you. It's only an easy outlet of you not doing the work. And the black community has a lot to, of work to do when it comes to relationships because we have been fed a lot of lies, men and women, that has developed into us not being closer it, and into us having this animosity that should not exist. And this is highly, highly visible in the black YouTube streets. So why are we not valuing the fact that other groups that are married, they get bigger tax breaks. Two people building income is quicker than one person struggling to, to, to survive. The environment for the children. This is what marriage produces. Marriage produces peace, tranquility. Functionality between two or more people in that institution, a family. This is what family does. It's easier to function in marriage than any other alternative. Being single, those that are irresponsibly pumping and dumping, wearing their bodies down, swinging, doing all kind of open relations, all those things 
have short-term gratification, long-term disaster. See, we, we want to glorify all of these alternative relationships that don't have a track record of marriage. We cannot reinvent the wheel. The wheel is here to stay. The wheel is here to stay. And the evidence statistically is there to, to prove it. But yet people will argue with me. D. Durrell, you don't know what you're talking about. D. Durrell, stepfathers are a simp. Either you want families or you're not, or you don't. All families will not be cookie cutter. All families will not look the same, act the same, and so on. All marriages between two people, man and woman, may have different personalities based on the people, and it may not be reflective of the normal society. It's about what works for you. And your partner, not what pleases everybody else. But it's always the ones who don't have a person with them who cry the most. Marriage is highly valuable. Marriage gives a head up, a, a, a head start for kids. Because once they see that, they will want to emulate that when they become older. I seen my dad as a as a father. I want to be just like him. I want to do better than him. I seen my mom as a mother. I want to be just as good or not better. So what's the alternative? You want me to go to the same sex? Human beings are not built like that. We are social beings who love to at, at, in the time of of personal need and so on. We want to be able to connect. We want to be able to confide in and have another person in that environment. Human beings naturally don't like being alone. And when I mean alone, I mean for long periods of time, day to day, as it relates to their own home and so on and, and so forth. Etc. That doesn't mean that people do like being alone because there are people who enjoy being alone and they don't need others to validate them and so on. They choose to live the life that they live. But then there's a whole host of army of others who claim that they can do bad all by themselves. They don't need a man. I'm a dude. I ain't going to never get married. I'm not going to ever sacrifice. I'm not going to ever be a, a value to another human being, particularly your wife or children, or even if they have stepchildren. I'm just going to be all alone with a sore thumb, mad at women when I should be mad at myself. If we are going to end a lot of this foolishness, we have to create a culture of people who who want to get married, who honor getting married. And, and getting married is a goal to stay married. And forget about trying to adhere and copy the behaviors of failed relationships. By the way, that was created by people outside of our community. So thank you for your time. I just wanted to, to discuss this so you can understand where I'm coming from and why I say those that don't know need to be quiet. Shut your mouth and quit creating poison when you don't have a track record to show whether what you are saying, your talking points work. Marriage has always worked historically, and it has been the, the single most important thing in any Thriving Society. D. Durrell, D. Durrell Life Solutions. Y'all have a great day.